crack it. Push, push this button right here. My, my bed comes out, right? And I yeah. just... Uh, uh, like this one. That one? Yeah. <laughs> Hello and good early morning, everyone. Uh, it's pretty early, you guys. We've been up. All I went off, what, 4.15, 4.30? When did you set your alarm? Yeah, 4.15. 15. Rolling out of bed, but the kids, they're up and going. I mean, they are up. They're not even struggling this morning. I was actually shocked how easily they got out of bed at 4.30 a.m. It is now 5.15, though, and we need to be in the car. We are, our goal is to be on the road at 5.15. Just as you can see by standing in the kitchen, we are not on the road. We're so I think we're going to be fine. Learn to go very, very early. That way we can get all the bags checked in, all of us through security, and then we comfortably usually have the opportunity to grab a bite to eat. A this morning, snack. maybe just like a jamba. I don't know. I'm not really up for like a big meal this early yeah. in the morning, but we'll be down for delicious smoothie, pretzel, something simple something like that. Just to, you're gonna have a lot of flying time. Get today. the digestive tracks going. And then we're gonna be on the plane for eight hours today. It's two separate flights. We talked about this briefly in yesterday's vlog, but when you book kind of last minute, you're at the mercy of what's available. And about the only flight that had six seats on it that wasn't a red eye overnight was this one that flies all the way up to Minnesota, where mom just recently was at the Mall of America, flying all the way from Minnesota all the way down to Florida, which is two four hour flights. We're flying almost to Canada and then back down south yeah, of Florida. Like Flying to Florida twice. <laughs> it actually really is. But I gotta tell you, we're kind of looking forward to it because it's gonna be a lot of fun time together on the plane. We've got all our devices charged. The dry guy's got a Steam Deck. The kids got their iPads. We've got all the entertainment they're gonna need. And we're just looking forward to locking in, hanging out for a few hours. And then when we arrive, we'll be stepping off into sunny Florida for a week of fun in the sun. We cannot wait to bring you guys along for so an epic beach vacation for the new year. We're gonna be celebrating the new year on the white sand beaches of Florida, possibly watching fireworks of the ocean. I mean, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be a trip to remember. Starting off the new year in a different state, kind of awesome. Never done this one before. All right, guys, in case you're wondering why we're headed out to Florida for winter break to celebrate the new year, this is why. <laughs> because the cars are frosted here. You can see your breath. And that's not how we bring them, guys. Are you so ready to get some yes. sun? Let's do it. Some white it's sand beaches. Degrees there. Some beautiful blue waters. We're just not, you know, super wintry people. And it didn't even snow. Like, it's really not like we could even go skiing, snowboarding, sledding, yeah. build a snowman. There's just nothing. So we just said, hey, let's take this show on the road, finish out let's the year in Florida, it. baby. Yeah. You guys ready? Let's yeah. Go. Let's do okay. It. I think I'm coming through. Like you guys got the airport to yourself. This is an entirely new, like, what do you call them? Wings, hangers, gates? Hangers. What do you call it? Hanger sounds cool. Hanger sounds pretty cool. That's where you park stuff. Hey. What do you call it? It's gate, because you go to gate A, gate B. But anyways, they've opened up a series of gates this way. We've only ever gone that way, because that's all there They're was in Salt Lake Airport. Christmas stuff. Christmas decorations, Brexton just noticed. We got the Sky Club right here, but this used to be the end of it right here. So it goes another, like, handful of gates this way. For the first time, we actually have a flight coming out of one of the new gates. Yeah, there's new restaurants, new little shops. We did have one go out of this gate last time, actually. I think it was to Cabo, wasn't it? And we got down there, got some Burger King up all things got settled and they changed it to clear on the other side. So we'll see if that happens today. As we're walking through here, Rex is noticing all of the holiday decor, which is kind of fun. Each gate has a little dressing, a little Christmas dressing. Down in between these walkways, you've got ornaments filled, like an aquarium or something in between. Such a cool idea. Mom commented, I wonder if when we come back, it'll be down, because we're actually coming back after the new year. I know. And a few days into the new year, will all the holiday decor be down, put away when we get home? They just did the classic U2 when the flight attendant or the person checking the ticket said, have a good flight, did the U2. Ah, I hate that. I used to do that at the gym all the time. I would scan my pass, they'd have a great workout. I'd be like, you too enjoy working up front today. often now, he just doesn't go to the gym. So. Wow, well they don't have anybody checking tickets at the gym in the basement, okay? crazy that we're on the plane. The sun has not even come up yet. Still pretty dark outside. The sun is just starting to come up. We're about to get into the sky to Minnesota. Wait, I, I thought, thought we were going, going to Florida. Florida. <laughs> we're so dumb. We are eventually, but first off, Minnesota. <laughs>
We have landed here in Minnesota. We are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Brandon I believe. Brandon tried to pack coats for this portion of the trip. Guys, it's cold, very cold. <laughs> but we're not leaving the you airport. You should have seen the poor guys pulling the luggage out of the bottom oh, of the it's, plane. It's cold. They are, just look like they are frozen. We are stopping off in a very cold, icy place before we head off to the sunny isles of Florida. And it was very quick. We got off one gate and rather could see our next gate from outside of our plane. Got a treat. Had enough time to grab a snack, swing over to here. I'm hoping bags will just go from one plane to the next, but I it is. I already got the notification our bag is on the plane. Very minimal layover here like I wouldn't even call it a layover just more of like jumping out of one plane and jumping on another we're already boarding the next plane getting on this one heading out of here as we landed didn't look like a place I wanted to stay for winter break kind of looked exactly like Utah it looks a little bit <laughs> and they don't have any here. snow here either which no. I thought was interesting B you have a really great seat on this flight where you have excellent leg room on our flight last leg headed to Florida right now Wait, dad needs to go oh, first, right? Yeah, I get to go on this way. So mine has two access points in the first class here. You just can come through this way right here. Hold on, I got to search something up there. There you go, turn over the keyboard. <laughs> Is it working if you enter or no? Typically we book direct if possible, like a non-stop. Yeah. So I haven't really pieced together like legs of flights. So I had this whole thing wrong. I was thinking it was four hours to Minnesota, four down to Florida. But because you changed time zones twice in that flight, it was actually just two up to Minnesota and only three down to Florida, which is only which is five so hours nice. in the air, yeah. which is not even close to what I said, three yeah. hours less. Yeah. But it did take us almost an hour to take off from Salt Lake. So yeah, it took a while. that was a while. They had to de-ice and do a bunch of extra things. But this one's only three hours. I slept through the entire last flight, woke up when we landed. This one though, just a short little three hours yeah. and we'll be in Florida. Look at that, that is a boat out there on the ocean right there. That is a boat. I need to see oh my gosh, deck. look at this. You guys look at the view. Apartments or? I wish you could see the dang ocean, but you guys, when you wake up, that is the beach right there. Dude. This is incredible. And if we're looking for a new home, we found that this floor is available. You can have this entire floor. It comes unfurnished, so you gotta bring your own furnishings. I think that could be a pretty great spot to live. And then just over here, city view. This is a combo city and beach view. Does this look anything? Like the mountainy hills of Utah. No, we have arrived. We are here. We are in Florida. And here's how you know, right, guy? How many supercars have we seen so far? Three. Three supercars already, and we just walked out of our hotel, you guys. Lambos, Bentleys, they abound here in the Miami it's area. Pretty awesome. And we could not be more excited to be here. The weather's incredible. It's actually a bit chilly. I, I mean, it. like, it's the perfect crisp chill to go for a walk. What we wanted to do first is go grab something to eat because we actually got in at a fairly reasonable hour, enough time to get dinner. But something that I thought was cool, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we were actually flying from sunrise to sunset. And in fact, we were in the air flying at sunrise and then as the sun set we landed we in landed, Florida yeah. so we literally flew from sunrise to sunset on a plane that was incredible. We worked out some of my errors in calculating the trip. It was a two hour flight to Minnesota and a three hour flight down to Florida. So a grand total of five hours in the air. Overall, because of the layover, I don't know, maybe it was the de-icing or whatever, it took all day. But yeah. we are here, we have arrived. Look at the skyline behind us. I, I don't know what it is about Florida, but I love this place. I absolutely love it here. I can see why Jared and Britt live here. I can see why they haven't moved back to Utah yet. And that's why they get so many visitors. <laughs> so thrilled to be here. Day of traveling, but we enjoyed it. Just played on our Steam Decks, iPads, hung out, got real cozy with each other there. Tyler and I snuggled. A little bit of snuggling going on. We are ready to have the time of our lives here. I'm waiting for a Lambo, guys. Lambos, Lambo. they just speak to me. Oh, get him, baby. This is Miami. We don't mess around. 
I love you, Florida. I love you. <laughs> We just finished up dinner. Pretty it delish. Was so good. Pretty incredible. <laughs> but guess what? Little known fact. I don't know if anybody knew about this, but my brother, well, first of all, you guys know my brother lives here. My other brother is here with his family, Justin. Justin and Lindsay from Our Life in Holland are here. They're about to get on a cruise tomorrow. It's gonna be kind of fun to finish off our first day here by going and hanging out with them. They're with Jared and Britt right now. Go so grab fun. some dessert together, it's walk so up and down cool. Las Olas Boulevard, something oh, fun cars. together. Wish them well, send them off on their cruise. Would you guys yeah. think it'd be fun to go meet up with That'd your cousins so tonight? Be so so awesome. Awesome. All right, let's do it. My guy, what is up, bro? <laughs> New guy, what the big up taking over Florida? Let's go, Lando. Let's go, baby. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> Guys, have you been to Florida before? This is amazing. Is Ryler come? Did Ryler come? No, is Ryler no. here? I was at Costco and grabbed this kid. He was on sale? Yeah. yeah. What Dude, how Guys, this is amazing. This is nuts. <laughs> Made it back to our hotel, ready to check in. I guess we already did check in. Ready to check out of this day. Into Get into bed. It is New Year's Eve tomorrow, you guys. So tomorrow we have no choice but to run it hard all the way till midnight. Yes. You gotta watch that ball drop here in Miami. A lot more fun to come. Great running into the family tonight, getting out to hang out it with them. So fun. So much fun. Always a good time. But that is just the beginning of this epic adventure that we're gonna have here. You guys, the sun is going to be rising right outside of oh that window, gosh. right over the ocean I can't wait. tomorrow morning. Cannot wait to show you the view out that window when the sun is up. This is going to be crazy. incredible. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. Hang out with us for the week. It's going to be so much fun. Love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Super smooth. <laughs> and cut here. I think I get push this button right here. My my bed comes out right, and I yeah. just. Uh, uh, this one. That one. <laughs>